All right, so today we are going to look at setting up a space in Google Chat. So we're in chat.google.com is the web-based interface. If I navigate to spaces and I click on the plus sign, I've got an option to create a space. Now, I can create a space, I give it a title, a description, and then right underneath there, I can directly add people, um, whether that's a Google group or direct ads that I want to be able to join it. So all spaces start off as restricted, right? The members can only join if they're directly added. However, if you select the drop down, you'll see that it expands and gives an option to people can browse who are part of the domain. So in our case, it's Eagle County government. If I set it to this, that means that other staff members within our domain can do the browse spaces, join the space. And so it's a much more kind of open and discoverable type group. Right underneath that is another option. And this is for threaded replies. So there's two totally different camps here, right? If you don't use threaded replies, then the space operates like a traditional chat where it's just a chronological, most recent to oldest, and you can't really break up conversations. If you use threaded replies, that breaks up posts into individual posts that people can comment on. So if you think of other uh, social channels like a Facebook or something like that, somebody makes a post and then there are comments attributed underneath that. I would strongly consider looking at threaded because I think as we move away from currents and into spaces and a lot of the functionality is built out with really clear titles, maybe even color codes, but the uh, breakout windows for comments, I think there's a lot of functionality coming down the road that's going to be built in with the threaded replies that will allow you to customize notifications and the way in which you interact and give a lot more kind of variety and life to uh, a Google space. So uh, two different options there. That's what they both do. The last one is whether other people outside of your organization can join. If this is locked down to your organization, don't check that. If you want to allow others that are outside who are on Google to be able to join, um, then you would select that and then you can have people outside join. So hope that helps. Um, and uh, yeah. Enjoy chatting.